Well, as the drought continues to worsen, the local crops are beginning to show some wear and tear. News 18's Amber Hardwick brings us more on how the drought has impacted the corn crop in Tippecanoe County. The dry and hot weather continues to cause drought for the area, and the drought continues to bring stress to the corn crop. The lack of rain is taking a toll on the corn, and it's starting to show. The corn is, is starting to dry and brown. The, the soybeans are doing the same thing. And, and, of course, some of this is natural because it is that time of year, but um, a lot of it is occurring more rapidly than we would have expected because of the drought stress. Purdue Extension corn specialist Bob Nielsen says the rain didn't come soon enough and says at this point, little rain won't do too much for the crop. The quarter and a half inch will do more for your yards and, and your gardens and your potted plants and things like that. Uh, but for what's left out here in a lot of these fields, it's not going to do very much at all. And that's because many fields are mature and the growing season is coming to an end. However, Nielsen says they're not expecting record-breaking yields as imagined earlier this summer. One point, I thought maybe we were 5 or 10 percent above that average for the potential. So I think maybe the best case scenario is an average statewide yield. But there, again, there will be areas or individual fields where the yields may be three-fourths of what they expect or maybe half of what they expect because it is so severe. Nielsen says Indiana may have better yields than other states to our west because of the late start to the drought. 